Welcome everyone. My name is Stacy Bonus. I'm a turf grass breeder here at Rutgers. And this segment is going to be on our fine fescue breeding program. We have several different species that we work on within the fine fescues. Those include strong creeping red fescue, chewings fescue, hard fescue, and slender creeping red fescue. We also have sheep's fescue, uh, but there's not a ton of breeding work done on that species. There's a little bit, but not too much. I would say the main uh, species we focus on are strong creeping chewings and, and the hard fescues. If we look just right in the front row here, we have some examples of some of the different species. So these first two plots are strong creeping red fescue. Then we have a chewing fescue, and you can see that it's a little bit denser than the strong creeping red fescues are. We have two plots here of what are considered and labeled as sheep's fescue. Um, these have a little bit more of a bluish, uh, drier uh, growth to them. You can see they're kind of um, not as vibrant green as the other species are, but they're probably the most drought tolerant ones. And then we have hard fescues. So these are um, three hard fescue plots right here. Then we have another chewing fescue here. And then finally we have several more strong creeping red fescues. And I wanted to point out the damage here. This is leftover dollar spot that we had earlier in the season. And strong creeping red fescues are by far the most susceptible to, to that disease compared to chewings and the hard fescues. Hard fescues we found have good dollar spot resistance if they have endophytes. If they don't have endophytes, then they can get um, some susceptibility to uh, dollar spot disease. But the other thing that we have that um, causes problems on strong creeping red fescue in addition to dollar spot is red thread, which uh, can come on in the wetter, uh, cooler clim climates and times of the year during the spring and the fall. Um, so that can be a problem on strong creeping red fescue. Chewing fescue is kind of in the middle. It's got more dollar spot and more red thread tolerance than the strong creeping red fescues, but it can get some. And the hard fescues, if you look back here, we have some several plots here. And this is our research farm in Adelphi. And you can see they have really nice quality. This was seeded last fall. So we have not had a ton of stress so far on this test. But the main problem in hard fescue is summer patch. And I'm gonna talk about our breeding work that we're doing on that um, a little bit later on. But I just wanted to, to point out that under our sandier soils, usually um, hard fescue has excellent quality. But if you have hard fescues on heavier soils, like our research farm up on campus in New Brunswick, uh, we have some big problems with hard fescue and summer patch susceptibility. So there are issues there, and that's one of uh, the main focuses of our breeding program in hard fescue. Hard fescue, for the most part, tends to be very drought tolerant, probably the slowest growing of all the fine fescue. So it's one where you would could keep it unmowed in a rough area, or some people have lawns that they don't mow, you don't want to mow very often. Hard fescues makes a nice no-mow uh, lawn. But um, as I mentioned, it does have some disease problems, which we're working through. But it has better dollar spot and better red thread resistance than the strong creeping red fescues do. Hard fescues and chewing fescue are bunch type grasses. They do not have rhizomes. And the strong creeping red fescue does, and so does the slender creeping red fescue, which is similar to the strong creeping, but has a more limited rhizomes, but they do have rhizomes. So the slender creeping red fescues tend to be the ones that have the most salt tolerance. And that's one of the things that we're working on in the breeding program is to try to improve that trait um, in the slender creeping red fescues. And we can expand that to the other fine fescues as well. Um, so we ha evaluate uh, all the different species for the different traits and diseases. Um, we manage these under kind of a medium maintenance. We have this mode at an inch and a half. Um, we keep the fertility relatively low on the fine fescues, you know, two, two to two and a half at the most pounds per thousand square feet uh, per year. And 
we will irrigate so that we can get some disease pressure. And so that is our big focus in the breeding program is to try to improve disease resistance uh, in the fine fescues. So I'll talk a little bit more next about our uh, breeding program for summer patch resistance. One of the big issues with breeding hard fescue is summer patch. Summer patch disease is probably the biggest problem in hard fescue that we have encountered. Um, one of the things that we realized early on was that many of the hard fescues do not have significant tolerance to summer patch. So this has been a big emphasis over the last few years. We've been working on this through our specialty crop research initiative and trying to improve summer patch tolerance in hard fescue. So what we did here was we went through all of our breeding uh, material. We have 200 different lines of hard fescue in this trial. And what we've done is planted these in single space plant nurseries here. We keep them mowed and we have inoculated them underneath each hole with uh, summer patch inoculum grown on oat seeds. And what we have found is this, this section here was planted in late July. We had, had to have two plantings um, just because of the way the plants were ready. Um, so we don't see a lot of damage in here, although it's starting. So you can see some of these in here are getting some damage. hardly any damage on this one. So this trial is just starting. We had another trial that we planted in late June, and that one is starting to see a lot more damage, and we're very excited about some of the um, responses that we're seeing in this um, section of the field. So you can see we have a line right here that's quite susceptible. There's only a few survivors. As we move up a little bit, we have another line from a different mother that actually has quite a few tolerant plants. And that um, is very promising for breeding for summer patch resistance. We also have another study that my graduate student, Daniel Moe, is working on where we have a mapping population where we've crossed resistant and susceptible uh, hard fescue plants. We had a mapping population. They are segregating for summer patch disease. We have um, been working on trying to generate a SNP marker genetic linkage map for that population. And he's also phenotyping them for summer patch right now. And they are included in this trial here uh, that, we're, that we're showing today. So we're hopeful that we can find potentially some markers that could be linked to summer patch resistance in hard fescue. And also we want to find tolerant plants to be able to breed with and develop new cultivars of hard fescue that have improved summer patch tolerance.